Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. Uh, I'm here today to uh, show you the final uh, journal that I just uh, made for someone. It was a special request, it was uh, a writing journal. And uh, I decided to use uh, a lot of my uh, digitals that I had printed and never used. And I wanted to make a, uh, a some, some kind of an eclectic junk journal but it's uh, everything is cohesive um, as you know from my previous video I explained how I made my cover and this journal is 9 by 6 it has two signatures of 16 pages each so we have uh, 128 pages front and back it's uh, it's a hidden spine and uh, I have a lot of yumminess in here as you can see so, um, did a lot of sewing in this journal, uh, a lot of, I, everything has been distressed and uh, did, um, my, my uh, fabric cover is all sewn in as well. So inside, here I have a tag that I had made uh, previously, trying techniques, I've got uh, textured paste here and I distress everything with the Tim Holtz uh, distress uh, oxides and here I have uh, handmade cotton paper so easy to write in the back and I just put it here so she knows it's it's a pocket that she can you know add whatever she wants in here um, this is uh, tracing paper that's been coffee dyed and like I said all uh, I, I will try and find all the uh, the papers that I've used, but I bought these uh, a while back at, when I first started journaling, and I never used them. So I decided this was a time, because I printed some pages, and I tried to put everything together to make a journal, and this is what came out, and I think it's, it's beautiful. So now I have nothing uh, laying uh, in my... Uh, I always keep my... Uh, my printed papers and uh, you know one of these um, <clears throat> you must have these as well um, you know they, they're the uh, the big plastic uh, tape you know that you can put your projects I put my projects in here I have a couple of these and this one was full of digital that I had printed from Tracy Fox from uh, whatever I found a paper I would print like one page just to remind me of that I had this digital so I've, I've used up everything that I had in my um, in my um, in this uh, file so I'm very happy with that so this was a beautiful collection and I wanted to use it so I, I started looking at my paper and I thought okay this is what I'm gonna be using and that's when I went with my cover because she wanted a nature journal. So that's that's how it came. This came about. Uh, this page is all. This was a freebie from one of the designers, and I can't remember which one. I think it's Victoria Design, but I'm not sure. A while back again. So everybody's asking me where did I got this page, and this is it's a freebie. So um, I didn't buy this. Uh, this is also one page that I had printed on coffee dyed paper and uh, I thought it was so beautiful I wanted to uh, insert this in this journal. Uh, this is a Tim Holt stamp. So like I said, lots of space to journal. And here we have, uh, this is a freebie from Louisa Heinzel, uh, which I used. I thought it was beautiful. I have some washi tape. This is a uh, handmade washi tape with alcohol inks. And I've used this as well from uh, Michelle Sharp from the Creative Cove. These are all her sketches. She has all kinds of beautiful, beautiful sketches, so you should check her out. And I found that uh, I had printed these, and that's why I put some in this journal. And she can, you know, write in the back as well, a little poem, um, you know, a thought that she, uh, she she's thinking or... Um, a, Anyway, she, she can use this as uh, whatever she wants <laughs> to use it for. This is also a, a beautiful uh, collection. I've used some washi tape over here just to try and get the, the coloring, and I thought it was nice. 
this is one of my own uh, I, I bought some digi stamps and I play with them on my procreate program on my iPad and I print these on um, um, coffee dyed paper and I really like the way they turn out so here I made a uh, uh, a ruffle and it's a page page border which I like this here is a glassine bag which I've um, coffee dyed and I stamp a tree on it and uh, here is another bird from um, Louisa Heinzel and this is one of my cluster uh, not a cluster but I made uh, journaling cards from um, a, a master board that I made uh, a while back and I just cut it up and I sewed all around and I put some um, so she'll be able to write in black on here so it's just in the uh, and I sew the the ends of my bag so they don't you know open up too much and I did some fussy cutting from this uh, paper line to make uh, to take the leaves This is also a grungy uh, set that I got. I think it's grungy botanical papers from, I forget who it is. And I backed it with um, coffee dyed paper that I bought uh, also. Um, this is just a doily. This is a en encyclopedia page that I turned over. It's a little pocket, but you know how flimsy these are, so I didn't put anything in here. I just decorated and it's just something different. This is also one of the first digital kits I ever bought. It's also called Botanical uh, Lined Papers. So I really like that one too. Uh, this is from Angela Carr. This is her doily, and I use it a lot for backgrounds. I like it. Same thing here for the paper. It's on. It's uh, vertically. This these papers are are printed vertical, and I just fold the bottom to make a pocket, and uh, added two um, two tags, and used my washi tape and did some stamping here. Uh, this is a little tuck spot. Did some stamping here. Isn't this paper paper beautiful? I really love it. And this is just, wow, I, I like that. I really do. So these are the clusters I made, uh, mass made, uh, mass made clusters a while back. I think I had six left. So I used them in this journal. So music sheet, just some cooking paper. I uh, did a page border with my leftover um, papers that I had. I don't like to throw anything out, and I don't throw anything out. Uh, Tim Holtz stamps. Uh, no, stencil. Excuse me, that's a stencil. Use this also in the middle, just, you know, to make something here. It's parchment paper, this one. Another one of my little clusters on coffee dyed paper. Isn't that paper beautiful? I really, I'm glad I had that because I wouldn't have remembered to use it. And I, from now, well, now I don't have anything left, but I, I said, I'm going to use what I have before I print anything else. If it didn't match, of course I would print, but uh, um, I, I'm happy that everything was, and I'm, I'm trying to stay in the you know, roughly mostly colors, colors instead of if I'm doing a special journal like baby journal or something. Another coffee dyed paper uh, that I backed this paper with and also turn it over to make a pocket and one of Lusa's little birds. This is the page from the dictionary or I think it's an encyclopedia, I'm not sure. I can't remember now. It's a it's a big book. The back of the doily, again here with a tag. This is the back of the vaccine bag. So in, I've put an, uh, more journaling cards in here, and I fussy cut a leaf. Here I just stamp. Uh, no, a stencil. This is a stencil. 
Uh, this, it's funny, I was uh, making the circles for, you know, my, uh, my um, pockets here. And I had this laying on my desk. And I thought, hmm, I'm going to do something with that. I don't want to throw it out. It was, a, you know, in white. I thought, oh, I'm going to make a pocket. So I lined it with... Um, um, uh, oh, clear vel oh, vellum paper, and I just use my decals, flower decals, and it's a pocket. So I just gave her some um, coffee dyed paper and another little uh, flower tag from uh, Michelle Sharp in here. So, you know, you don't, and I don't know if you can see, but I sewed. I did some stitching all around the circles here after I glued the um, the vellum in the back. So, you know, you know, don't throw anything away. You always can use this. That's what I say anyway. This is a, a, a page from uh, Edith Holden, um, some leftover paper that I had. So I used it here just for decoration. I did uh, some stamping here. So she can write here, she can even add photos, uh, even decoupage in the catalog or, 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 you know, that she likes. A magazine sheet or whatever. Is, isn't that pretty as well? I thought this is beautiful. And I love polka dots. I really do. This is, a, again, from the same collection. So I... I'd, Printed a few sheets, and these are the ones that I really wanted to use in this journal, so I went with uh, what I have. This is the back of the um, the freebie page, and this is the end of the um, first signature. So as you see, the middle is very pretty, beginning of second signature. So I did the same thing here, added a little one of Michelle Sharp's little tags. Did some washi tape here with a collage sticker. A handmade paper over here. This is also a grungy digital that I had downloaded. One of my uh, clusters. And the lady's birthday is in July, so I used uh, one of Edith Holden's um, page from her book and I just uh, coffee dyed it and I used it in here. This is another page that I had printed. One of my clust uh, clusters that I made also and I this one I decided to make a pocket. So more, I, I think these are really really pretty. So it's going to be perfect for a writing journal, you know, like I said, she can add photos, uh, whatever she wants. This is an envelope that I had uh, coffee dyed. I sewed around it, put some um, rice paper on it. Here I gave her a few things in here to, to add to, she can, you know, glue it down to the journal. If she wants to write something in private, you know, message. Um, I made a tag here with some rice paper and coffee dyed, so she's got a pocket here, and she has a pocket here as well. As well, and I finished the rice paper that I had left, so no more of that rice paper. This is the back of the envelope, well, the, f the flip, and I, I took the paper and I turned it over, and I made a little pocket here with two little... Tags. Again, one of the digital stamps that I have. Another um, um, frill with um, tissue paper here. And I just glued some butterflies. This is a paper I made a long time ago uh, on coffee dyed paper, stamping, uh, stem hole stamps. And uh, I, I watercolored everything. And I just wanted to use it in this journal. This is a digital uh, image from Pinterest that I had downloaded and fussy cut. And it was in my things and I, I wanted to use it in here. And it's beautiful. Another little doily. 
more parchment paper. This is the encyclopedia page. Oh, and I put little tiny ones. Oh, that's it. These are Michelle's, Michelle Sharp's tiny, tiny little, little images, uh, sketches of flowers. Yeah, and she's got the name of the flowers in the bottom. So, very cute. I, I, I really like her work. Another cluster I made uh, in the, the mass make. So, I have no more now. I'll have to... And you know what? I like to make clusters when you don't feel like doing a journal or you're not up to doing something. You go through your 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 scrap and you just do clusters. And I, I have a lot of butterflies and, and uh, die cuts that I like to use. So I'll, I'm going to be making some more because I just I use them all up in here. Again, here is um, some washi tape and a um, little sticker. This is from that paper that I like, like so much. So this is the middle of the signature. And this I printed on coffee dyed paper. I wanted to see, it was my first attempt and I wanted to see how it would turn out and I thought it turned out very nicely. This is one of my uh, digitals. I, uh, the digital stamps that I bought, I played on Procreate for the background colors. Um, so I thought it was nice in this journal as well. So she can write on, on this side. This is also a digital stamp. Now the page, I used little tags here that I had in my stash. And this is a, this is a, uh, I had done this paper here on um, tracing paper using all my stamps, different colors, and it was uh, lengthwise. So I tore, tore it off and I just covered to make it a little bit more uh, sturdy. Did more uh, fussy cutting of the leaves of this paper. Doily, this is the back of the page that I made. Like I said, I did some stamping and did some watercoloring on it. So a little bit of mixed media in this journal. Oh, this pocket also I had made a while back with a, a paper bag. So it's got the front, I have two pockets in here. I have the front and the back and I just gave her some uh, coffee dyed paper here, more for her to write. And this is this pocket is all done with washi tape from 49 in Market. And it was in my stash and I thought, oh, I'm going to use it in here. I just added two little flowers, dye flowers, and I just, um, uh, distress them and I did the um, side I used the washi tape on the side here just to you know so it, it matches the other page another page of the uh, freebie that I got we saw Hansel's birds little tag sheet music um, coffee dyed paper also, uh, the botanical digital kit that I bought, uh, I think it's from Pink Monarch, now that I'm thinking about it. I think it's Pink Monarch. This is a background from Louisa Heinzel, the Angela Carr doily paper. Made a little pocket here, and she's got more little coffee dyed paper. Like I said, I don't throw anything out. These are all scraps. She, you know, she can write little messages in here for herself. Uh, this is one one little bird. Did some stamping on here. Some coffee dyed spraying, and it, it didn't turn out very well, but it, it's okay. This is the handmade paper. I love to use these. So like I said, she has a lot of writing space. This is another cluster that I made. And this one, we've got a little bit of fabric here and here, just two little fabrics. And also some fussy cutting here, put a little tag in here. And that's the end of the second signature. And this is the letter that always accompanies my journal. And uh, this I did the circles with my all my different circle uh, circle punches, 
and I sewed uh, right in the middle. Oh, I glued them down on the side and sewed right in the middle, and then um, sewed the um, the pocket in the book. Uh, no, I mean I sewed all around and then I glued this on the book. So that's it, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this flip through. And um, thank you for watching my channel. I can't believe I'm at 1,330 subscribers. At 1,500, I'll probably make a, um, a game to, I don't know how to, uh, to uh, do a giveaway. But I'll figure it out, and when I hit 1500, I'll, uh, one of my journals that's sitting on my shelf, uh, I'll be giving away as 1500 subscribers. So thanks for, for watching, and uh, keep well, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.